Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Thank you all for joining us. What a lovely gathering this morning. We are recording, inshallah. So maybe you're not with us right now. You're watching this in the future. Hello, people of the future. And salamu alaikum to those of you with us this morning. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Welcome to Dibat. Welcome to the spring term of 2023. Right now it's January 14th, 2023. Inshallah, this recording will be posted until we do another orientation for the fall term. So you might be joining us later on. But this orientation is here for new students to know about Ribat and where to find everything you need and for returning students to know the updates and what's different and what's new, inshallah, this term. Uh, I'm so happy to welcome you here. My name is Iman Rabbat. I'm the Education Director of Robota, and I lead the educational programming here at Robota. Robota is a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to create positive cultural change through creative educational experiences. So everything you engage in here at Robota, I want you to be looking for that creative and for that educational and for that experience. Those are that's what we're aiming for. And here at Ribat is no different. We are sharing the education about Islam in a creative way, inshallah, and we're turning it into an experience. So it's not just a boring lesson, inshallah. Um, today we're gonna have a few of our team members uh, speak, inshallah, and welcome you and tell you about the different uh, parts of our program, the different aspects of it. We're going to hold questions, so any questions in the chat box. I prefer that you have a notepad or something that you write down your questions because they might be answered from here until the end of the, the session. At the end of the session, we're going to hold a Q&A session. So I've blocked off about half, hour, half an hour of my morning for questions and answers. So if after the whole first hour, your questions have not been answered, then inshallah, you'll have a chance to ask them at, in the end of the time. Inshallah. Now, for those of you watching in the future after January 14th, that you're watching the recording, if you have questions, inshallah, you can email them to registration at robota.org. Our lovely admin is going to type that in the chat box for you. So anytime, at any day you have a question about Ribat, you'll be able to email there and get your questions answered. If not, they will forward it to the correct team member. Inshallah. Um, we're going to start off with a little bit of Qur'an. I haven't asked anyone to do that. So do I have a volunteer to begin us with Qur'an? If I don't have a volunteer, I'll start it myself. No one? Okay, just give me a moment to find the surah that I'd like to start with. I know it, but I don't want to mess up. Because, you know, we're being recorded right now. Somebody's thinking... She should prepare that ahead of time. You're right, I should have. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna fatahna laka fatham mubina. ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر. وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك صراطا مستقيما وينصرك الله نصرا عزيزا هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم ولله جنود السماوات والأرض وكان الله عليما حكيما ليدخل المؤمنين والمؤمنات جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها ويكفر عنهم سيئاتهم وكان ذلك عند الله فوزا عظيما 
استغفرك الله العظيم I chose these verses because uh, here at Ravata we're each choosing we're each choosing a word of the year and my word for this year is Fatah and this is Surah Al-Fatah and I'm praying that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will grant us opening this year all of us here at Ravata all of you all of our students all of our staff all of our volunteers here at the Ravata Cultural Center where we're opening an expansion for classes with uh, our halaqat, which we just began as uh, students now becoming teachers and here at Ribat, where we continue to expand and grow and our graduates are also becoming teachers. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So we're asking Allah SWT, I'm asking Allah SWT this year for fatah and opening and blessing in all of this work that we're doing. Our goal here at Ravata is to is to open the world of Islam to every every Muslim woman who's connected online and who speaks English. So we need those two requirements, but no other requirements are needed uh, to be a part of Ribat. I'm going to bring on this morning one of our students who's also a graduate. She received the teacher certification, which is our first level certification. We still have the scholar certification, which is we're still working on that. But uh, Dr. Amina Hakim is here with us today, and she is a student at Ribat. She's a teacher of our halaqat, and she is a teacher at some of our other programming. And locally, where she lives in UK, she also teaches. And she received the teacher certification from the Ribat Academic Institute. In her free time, she's also a, a doctor, like a general practitioner, they call it in England. That's just her side gig. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And I wanted her to tell you, so you don't get bored of me talking the whole time. I thought she could tell you what is Ribat, and then I will dive in and tell you more about the details. Tafaddali Anse Amina, please share with us your experience. She's going to share with us her experience for, with Ribat from her perspective as a student and graduate, inshallah. She's going to turn on her mic first because uh, otherwise we can't hear her. Can we host her, please? There we go. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Auntie Iman. Um, it's actually a blessing and an honor to be here. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, allowing me to speak about this amazing and um, a really an answered dua to so many of us around the world, um, whereby we are sat in our, the comfort of our homes with recordings and, um, you know, fitting to our availabilities. And yet we have this amazing institute that is called Ribat um, with um, amazing teachers, with traditional knowledge. And it is really, really for, for sure an answer that for myself personally and for many of the people that um, I've studied with and that I know. SubhanAllah Ribat in itself is so unique and so wonderful in that it brings traditional knowledge, traditional Islamic knowledge to all of us around the world. It is not in one place. It is open for everybody. And it brings to us um, uh, learning through traditional scholars, traditional scholars that have trained, that have worked hard, that have gone through the teachings and that have been, their knowledge has been passed on from teacher to teacher to teacher to teacher until, um, until it's coming to us and all the way to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that gives you comfort when you're sat with a female scholar who you feel that you connect with, that you feel that understands you, that you feel that comes and brings with, with them this whole knowledge of not just one particular thing, the holistic way of looking and approaching our faith and the holistic way um, of approaching the student. And so you have that comfort in knowing and, and uh, connecting to uh, those scholars with the huge huge caliber so I never imagined in my life to be able to have that all the way in the United Kingdom and yet um, to be able to sit in my comfort of my chair in my in my home actually in my bedroom that's where my desk is and still be able to gain all of that knowledge and it was a blessing when um 
so uh, as Anse Man said, I am a general practitioner. I'm a family doctor. I don't know. That's what that's called in the US. Um, uh, and uh, so it is a busy lifestyle. And actually, subhanAllah, one of the things that happened was Anse said, let's get this teacher certificate. And it was COVID time. And um, it was it's, it's not an easy feat, but it's a doable feat. And for sure, the support at Ribat is incredible. Not only are you presented with um, uh, all the traditional knowledge that you need to gain, and not only are you presented with the amazing teachers that are there, there is an array of support that is just, just absolutely amazing way of dealing with students and also with making sure that they progress through the Ribat program, uh, answering questions, answering emails, answering WhatsApps. <laughs> I cannot imagine uh, what's going on on the other side, but what I know is that there is diligence and there is commitment and there is definite um, want for that student to progress. And you don't see that in so many places. And so it was such a great blessing to be able to connect in that way. Um, so uh, you wonder like, that you have, I mean, it was during COVID. So I did have a crazy lifestyle, that's for sure. But even so, I was able to, to do this with the help of these amazing, amazing people that work behind the scenes at Ribat. May Allah reward them and bless them and, and, and uh, raise their status, inshallah. But I also know of many people who, who decide not to do a whole lot of classes, <laughs> like, like some of us. And they go step by step and they take a class a class. And you know what? It all works. Why? Because this is a program that is placed for everybody in all their walks of life and all their seasonalities. And so alhamdulillah for this blessing, because um, I know that the late fee is coming in and I'm particularly about, um, I want to join the Khidma program. And uh, I'm just like, oh my God, I have not pressed on it yet. I need to do that before the late fee comes in. But subhanAllah, what a blessing it is to be able to move in, in all the different levels, the traditional Islamic uh, classes, the beautiful new Arabic program, the Tajweed program. You don't find uh, uh, teachers to sit with, with uh, ijazas just like that. And so thank you, Ribat, for providing this and for providing everything in that way um, in, at, at all levels. And so I, I'm, I'm really grateful. I'm, thank you for allowing me to speak today. And um, really just grateful for this program that is serious and uh, full of goodness. And um, at the same time, an opening and, and a way of um, reaching all of us in, our, in all of our seasonalities. And say, Iman said um, her word for this year is Fatah, um, which is opening. And I pray and hope that this opening reaches us as individuals and Ribat in itself and Rabata as a whole. Because subhanAllah, for me, this, this program is a great opening. It opened uh, my eyes to all the traditional learnings. And it also allowed me to see all the uh, amazing um, high class teachers and to sit with them and be able to gain from them and to make um, lifelong friends and lifelong companions and lifelong people on this path that we really need as we progress through and walk through. Um, so thank you, Ribat, and thank you, Rabata, and may Allah bless you all. And uh, thank you for this opportunity, Ansi Iman. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Anse Amina. I love to hear from you and thank you for sharing your perspective. Bismillah rahman rahim So I'm going to take you on, let me just check, make sure that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes, I'm going to take you on a tour of Ribat. So I want you to pretend that just for a moment, come into my online world with me and pretend that you're on a campus. You have just stepped onto the Ribat campus. You got your backpack, you got your notebook, you're ready for class. And here's your tour guide who's gonna walk you around and show you all the all of the thing, all of the spaces and places that you need to know about so that you will have, inshallah, a successful term here at this University of Ribat. It's not a university yet, but we're praying, inshallah. Pray with us that inshallah one day we'll be able to manage that. So bismillah. Here we are. This is Ribat. This is where I live. Alhamdulillah. 
when you want to reach Ribot, you will type in the in the um, address bar ribot.robota.org. This is the website where you're going to find your classes. You're going to log in. You're going to look for your uh, information. Up here at the top, you got our brand new Spanking logo. How don't you love it? Isn't it gorgeous? This is our new logo. Everything at Robota we've rebranded. So gradually throughout the year, you're going to see these new logos hopping in and new designs and new colors. It's so exciting. Alhamdulillah, we're so excited about all of the newness. This button right here is a magic button that will always take you no matter where you are. So let's say you are uh, looking at this very cool website. And then you come to Ribot, and then you look around in Ribot, and then you get, no, sorry, one more time. You go to your dashboard, something, and you get lost. You just click on this Ribot button up here in the top left, and it will take you right back here to the home page. This is the button to click when you want to register. So when you open this link, it's going to take you to the registration page, which as you can see, we haven't rebranded yet, but it will happen very soon, inshallah. So those of you in the future, it's not going to look like this. It's going to have that the new logo, the new beautiful orange logo. So uh, this is where you register for your classes, okay? So you scroll down here, you'll see the categories that you can register in or read more about. And there's featured courses. These are the ones that we are uh, saying, yay, look at these. Usually level one classes that we put here so that you can look at the ones that we have highlighted for you. Now, if you want to look at the full courses, then you can click here. Right now we're in the spring term 2023. You can click here, look at your level one, level two, level three, and four, your Tajweed courses, your Arabic courses. And then we have, if you live in Minnesota, we have the in-person courses here at the RCC. So you can check out what we're offering in person, inshallah. Now, what if this is all just a little bit too much and you want to just see everything all in one page? We have that as well. So you click on, you just hover over academic program and here you have the course list. So here you can click and you can take a look at our course schedule. This has your course code, which tells you which track of learning your course is in and which level it is, which course code it is, your course name, your instructor, the day and time. Now, all of our timings are in CST. We call this ANSI Central Time or Robota Central Time. It's central for USA and Canada. So right now it's 7.20 a.m. You can find any online time converter, inshallah, to help you find what which time this corresponds to in your time zone. If you live in the Eastern Hemisphere, then you want to be careful that a Wednesday p.m. is actually Thursday a.m. for you. It might even be Thursday p.m. for you. So just those little things that you want to uh, take care about. You can see here our level one courses, level two, level three and four, Tajweed and Arabic. Always keep an eye on this because when we have little changes here and there, you'll see that we've updated it. So this was updated January 12th. You always want to keep your eye on this so that you know uh, how new this is or how old it is. If you want to read more about the program, you can click through these. We can learn about the academic program, the workshops and the retreat. If you want more specific information about the academic program, so you see here we have academic program. Now the academic program is our is our big big uh, big mountain, inshallah. So you have all this information about the academic program. We have certifications one, two, three, four. We also have a fifth one, which is the the ijaza in the 40 hadith of Imam Nawawi, but we have not have yet to create a page for that. So you can learn about how to get these certifications. What are the courses I need to complete to enroll? And what are the courses I need to, to graduate from that certification? Okay. You also have a course catalog here. I don't think this is the new one. The new one will be issued very soon. So uh, just check it out in a couple of days and you'll see the brand new course catalog. Um, as for course descriptions, if you want to know what each of these courses is going to talk about, you'll find it over there on the registration page, but you can also find them all compiled here under uh, course descriptions. If you want to know who your teacher is and learn more about her and kind of get a, a look at her beautiful face, you can click on the about the instructors page. Oh, that's me. Why did they put me without my glasses? I like my glasses. And then the Ribat graduates, so you can meet our graduates and learn more about them and see their beautiful faces, mashallah, and see how amazing our lineup of graduates are. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, one day you can be a graduate too. Textbook list, if you're not sure about the textbook for your course, this is the textbook list. Uh, please note, if you're in Sira 202, 
your textbook is not here and that's my fault 100% my fault and we're going to fix it inshallah but anyway so we update this this page every uh, term so that you know any updates on your textbook so please do keep checking this because we do make uh, adjustments as we move forward uh, in the program as we grow and expand as you grow and expand we continue to make changes alhamdulillah now if you want to purchase your textbooks you can click on the purchase textbooks uh, link this will take you to the ribat category at the robota bookshop so these are all of our ribat textbooks right here once you're registered in your course, you will have a discount code that you can enter here at the Robota Bookshop. Um, you have to be registered and then you'll find it in your syllabus and you'll find the code on your course page. It will be valid for maybe one month or two months into the term, one month into the term, and then uh, it will no longer be valid and we'll have a new one for the new term. So that's just about your text. And then you have FAQs. So these are the questions that are commonly asked. Of course, you're welcome to call or email us to ask these questions, but I would recommend going through these. If you're going to take Arabic, read these. If you're going to, if you're interested in a certification, read this because it's going to answer a lot of your questions that we have already received. And so we put them all on a page. If you're brand new to the program, I would recommend you look at the academic program FAQs. Now, as for a site tour, this is a tutorial on how to enroll. So if you're still getting confused or you're still not sure how to register in your class, you can watch this tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to, sh how to see what your grade for your last course. And this is the student orientation. Now, you see this is fall 2022. Uh, as soon as this orientation is over, we'll remove this one and we'll put this current recording that we're recording right now, we're going to put it there. So tomorrow, this will say, Student orientation, spring 2023, inshallah. So you can come back, watch this recording at any time uh, until we have a new one posted. We'll always have an orientation video, inshallah, recorded for anyone who's new. So if you have a new friend who wants to join, you can send her to watch this recording or if she wasn't able to join today. This tab will take, tell you all about payment. So you can learn about the policies that are hard set in stone policies because they're, you see they're written down on the internet. So we can't change the policies. We're so sorry. Um, uh, you can apply for financial aid. We know that sometimes in life, we're just not up to the, the money part, but we're ready to take the class. We want to learn, but we can't make the payment. Please don't worry. Please don't feel shy. Please come on. We have plenty of, mashallah, plenty of, uh, of, of uh, scholarships waiting for you so that you can continue to learn. Because our goal here is for all of us to be able to learn about our deen and be able to walk this path of of islam in our daily life happily and comfortably so we want you to be comfortable and be able to learn inshallah that's our goal so uh, applying for financial aid will take you to a page that will show you how to apply for a scholarship for a course how to apply for a scholarship for a full program if you're if you're a convert you can inshallah in august be able to apply for the andrea scholarship which which awards one convert a uh the full Ribat teacher certification. If your textbook is out of your budget for the term, you can also apply for a scholarship for that. If you see a workshop that you'd like to register in, but you can't manage the fee, you can also email registration to request a, a scholarship for that. We don't have a retreat open for registration now, but keep your eyes open as soon as the term is off to a good start. We will, inshallah, have registration open for the retreat on March 1st. You got to come on March 1st. Everybody set your calendar because last year in the first three days, the, the camp, the retreat was full. And this winter in the first 24 hours, the, the registration was full for the camp. So on March 1st, everybody mark your calendar. If you'd like to attend the Ribat retreat, July 19th in Minnesota, um, then you're going to, the registration will be open for that. Inshallah. If you're in a country where the dollar is just crazy, and it doesn't make any sense in your currency. We have also made a, 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 a correction for that. So you can email registration at rabata.org. For example, in, in Damascus, Syria, 6,000 pounds is $1. And a person makes 100,000 pounds in a month, 200,000 pounds in a month. And so there's no way that she could pay $125 for a registration fee. And so we have a special discount code for Syria and for other countries that are not able to make the registration fee. If you need that code, then you can 
email registration at rabota.org, inshallah. And if you're in, if you, that's not a problem for you, then you can also donate a scholarship in order to support the learning of, uh, of, our, of our loved ones. If you have a friend or a sister or a neighbor or a daughter or somebody that you would like to register or a mother that you would like to register as a gift, you can click this link and it will take you to a tutorial on how to register on her behalf. Okay, you can uh, make the registration payment for her and then you assign the course to her. So she just needs to have an account. Anyway, this will take you to how to do that. And then we have all this other information. After all of that, we have all this other information that we wanted you to have access to. Site news is where we post all these pages so you can scroll through those. Don't scroll too far because some of them are outdated. If you see 2014, you can just kind of take it with a grain of salt because we have a lot of changes since then. We have the academic calendar, which everybody keeps asking me, when does registration open? When does registration close? When does this and when does that? Here you have your, your calendar, inshallah. We have made a small adjustment, so I want to make sure that everybody's clear. Are you with me? Everybody raise your hand if you're with me. It's very important. Okay. Okay, so here at Rabata, we forget. We love to be here so much. We forget to take time off. We're just here all the time. Here I am on a Saturday. I was here on a Friday. We just love it here. However, we have been informed that we have to take time off. This new weird thing. I don't understand. But anyway, we have to do it. And so at the end of Ramadan, starting April 11th, until the end of Eid week, we have to take a whole week off for Eid. I literally don't understand, but we get the, you know, ANSI said, so we do what ANSI says. Until April 28th, we are going to be off and we're not going to be online. And I've never done this before. We're going to try it, okay? Because we trust ANSI and we're going to say, okay, we got this. We, we can do this. So you need to know that our course term has extended a little bit. The term will end on May 12th. After Ramadan and Eid, we will have one week of classes and then one week of exams this year. And then next year, Ramadan is going to shift and we're going to shift with it. We're going to keep doing a little dance until Ramadan goes into another uh, term. OK, so just to keep that in mind, these are the term dates right now. Spring term is from January 17th to May 12th. If you're not sure when registration closes, well, it's complicated because every level, every type of course has a different closing of registration. So I would recommend that you jump on and register right now so that we don't have to do the figure out when registration closes in the higher level in the higher level tajweed courses we can't keep registration open past today so you need to jump in and register right now uh, in arabic when the registration closes the first day of the module when's the first day of the module january 29th i'm sorry but you can't register after that because the arabic program is like clockwork every day you have work to submit every single day. So if you register a day late, you're already behind. And so we just have, we'll be closing registration. Alhamdulillah, our Arabic modules are short. So if you miss it, you'll be able to catch the next one, but don't miss it. Go do your placement test and register now. Go, I'll give you two minutes, go. Okay, just kidding, not two whole minutes, but I needed a sip of water. Register for Arabic, register for your Tajweed now and everything else. I think the late fee, I don't know if it has kicked in yet, but it's gonna kick in at some point. And the, the website is funny like that. It likes to keep it a secret and keep us on our toes. It won't tell us what time it's gonna close, but you know, so it's supposed to be today. So inshallah, do your best to get yourself registered in your classes. Um. And then classes will resume April 29th. So these are your dates. If you're wondering about the summer term, this is what it looks like. If you're wondering about the fall term, this is also what it looks like, inshallah. If there are any adjustments, we'll continue to update this page so you can always find it. You can also take a peek at the Ribat blog, which includes uh, things that I have written. Hi, Iman Rabat, Education Director of Rabata. Every month I write an article about learning about growth about what we're trying to achieve in this life and in this learning and so you can read my blogs and we also issue the student of the month mashallah Aida Azlin is our student of the month for January and students of the month are nominated anonymously by their instructors and so you will uh, you will be informed if you are nominated for students who are doing an amazing job or who are continuing with their course, even though they have really difficult circumstances. 
Um, we also post on the Rebot blog uh, student work that we that is beautiful and that we want to share with the world. So that's the Rebot blog. We can go right back to the Rebot website. Uh, we have a time zone chart which can help you uh, to know the time zone based on your own time zone. But subhanAllah, we needed this back in 2013. But nowadays, there are so many websites that can tell you, that can convert the time for you. So I'm not sure that we need this page anymore. But I kept it just in case. As for the Reebok Code of Conduct, I apologize. But I'm going to have to go through it just one more time. It's on my plate. So if you're a student here, we expect, let me zoom in so that we're all uh, able to see it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I request and expect that students are going to respect our requests in that you only submit your own work. If you're citing any other sources, if you're using any other sources, you're citing them. You tell me who said, don't, don't just copy from other sources. Please do not record the audio or video of your classes. We record them for you and we provide them for you, but please do not record them yourself. Do not share the link to your class or class recordings or course materials with somebody who's not registered. I know that sometimes we're eager for someone to benefit. And so we think, oh, let me just send this link. But I need you to know that this is intellectual property belonging to Robota. And it's uh, if you love the, what you're having, let them register with you, inshallah. You can have a friend or a sister or someone come and attend a class with you. That's fine. But I don't want you to be sending the material to them. Oh, here's my Arabic workbook. Douche. Here's my uh, assignment that I that I was assigned. Here's my recording of my class. Uh, we you need to have her register rather than sending her the, the content. As for uh, us instructors, I love to talk to all of you and I don't mind doing that online. But that means that I can't tell Who's behind you? I don't want to be talking to your sons and your husbands and your brothers because they're not my audience. And the same goes for all of our teachers. So if you do have men, and also I would I would also recommend children, because if you look at the next one, if you have men and children around in the house, have your headphones on, turn your camera in a way that you have a wall behind your back. Hint, can you raise your hand, please, for a moment? Hint has done it in a beautiful way. If you can raise your electronic hand so they can see you. So she's in a beautiful little corner of her home. There's nobody that can walk behind her and kind of peek at me. Like that would be a little bit awkward for me. So, uh, and the same goes for all of our teachers. Um, we want to make sure that your results are honest. This is all, we operate completely fully because it's an online program on trust. We trust that you're going to do your best and just see how you do, inshallah. We're not aiming for perfection, okay? We're not aiming for you to get 100 out of 100 in your course. It's okay if you get a 60 or a 70 or a 72 or an 85 or even a 98. It's okay because we want to learn. If you are able to benefit 60%, alhamdulillah. And if you're able to benefit 90%, alhamdulillah. And if you're only able to attend one class and you're only able to submit one assignment, then alhamdulillah. That's one class and one assignment more than I was able to do yesterday. So don't worry about those about your scores. and. Number seven, we want to really um, reiterate that registration fees are non-refundable. We're only taking a registration fee. Uh, we do not charge tuition. And so, as you know, any course that you would take at a, at a university of this caliber, you would the registration fee would be anywhere between $500 and $1,500 for a course. So we're only taking a registration fee to run the registration process. So once you've registered, we've already uh, we've already uh, needed those funds for the process of getting registered and getting you advised and getting you into your course. Um, as we, as I mentioned before, all the content from the classes are intellectual property of the Riba Academic Program. If you want to share, if you're teaching this class somewhere and you want to share it, you're going to have to get the written consent of written consent of myself um, to respect Ribat instructors by contacting them only through official channels. So. We have email box inboxes, we have WhatsApp, we have the classroom, we have the course forum. Other than that, we request that you just respect our time and our own uh, our own right to a little bit of privacy and only contact them through official channels. Uh, your instructors will let you know how they prefer for you to contact them. Some of them will say, uh, sure, send me a message. Sure, you can call me. Others will say, no, please only communicate through the WhatsApp group. Others will say, I'll get back to you through email. 
Others will say, I'm just in the classroom. So we request that you respect their choice of how to be contacted and how is the best way to contact each of them. And also keeping a respectful and positive tone. I know that with email, it's a little hard, but behind every email, we have a human being who's giving of her time, often a volunteer. Sometimes we have staff and sometimes we have volunteers behind those emails, behind those WhatsApps. So, and we try to always be respectful and positive. And we just ask from our students the same because we want to build a safe space and a safe community here at Robota for everyone to be able to learn. Uh, and so I know that sometimes it's frustrating, you didn't get your refund or you didn't get an answer to your question, but we do ask that everyone uh, stays kind and loving in their communications. And finally, inshallah, this won't happen, but if any of the above is not uh, respected, then we will need to remove a student uh, from the program. Inshallah, that that will not happen and that we will all continue to be together. I'm so sorry that I have to be the one to share the code of conduct, but that's what I need to do. If you're not sure who to contact, you have the Contact Us page. You also have a whole list of, the, of people to contact in your syllabus. If you want a transcript, you need to know who your, uh, what your grades are, what courses you've had. I'm going to invite on, uh, finally, I'm, before I'm going to invite on someone else to talk to you about this, uh, this column here. Uh, joining the team. If you love the work we do and you love the volunteers and you love your admin or you love your student support and you're like, wow, I could do that, then you can click here to volunteer and join the Ribot, the ranks of Ribot. Be sure to mention in that volunteer form that you would like to uh, volunteer at Ribot so that uh, if you have a specific role in mind, then you can let them know in the form specifically what you have in mind. Now, once you're logged in, I'm going to log in as Ribot. I'm going to log in as myself, Iman. OK, this is me as a student, because every one of us here is both a student and a, a maybe volunteer or a teacher. But all of us teachers also are learning. So I click on my dashboard and it takes me to all of the courses that I'm registered in. And if I then once I'm logged in, I also see my courses, which shows me the, the courses and I can quickly Click on a course and it will take me to the course that I was in last term. Now, here I am. This is a beautiful example of a course. This course is not offered this term, but this is, a, this is an example of a course forum. So when I tell you, you'll find that information on the course forum, this is where you'll find it. OK, so here you are on the course forum. It will remind you the name of the full name of your course, your instructor's name, the day and time of your class and the dates of your course. At the end of the term, you're going to see a course evaluation. If you have completed a fall term course, I beg you, please go back, fill the course evaluation. We love to hear your feedback. Your teachers are always asking me, did I get any evaluations? I really want to know how how they felt. I really want to know. So please evaluate the course, whether you really loved it or you thought there could, were things that could be improved. We want to hear from both, from both sides. So please go ahead and evaluate the courses that you were in as a student. Uh, those are still available right now for the last term. Right now, they won't be available for the new course until the end of the course. Our forums close. Oh, it says January 10th. We gave you an extra week. <laughs> we gave you an extra week. So uh, we do need to close these forums once a new term starts because uh, we all need to, staff, teachers, and students, we need to focus on the current term. What's unique about Ribat is that it's current. It's live. I don't bring you to a, a pre-recorded class uh, that has been posted 12 years and, you know, it's outdated. You're, you're meeting a teacher in live, in real time. You're able to ask her questions in real time. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we love that process in that system. But what that means is that we also are not able to uh, to leave all the forms open because then we have students trying to submit assignments after the end of the term. And we just, I'm so sorry, it's just impossible for us to keep up with uh, with that for all the courses. Alhamdulillah, we have about 50 courses right now going on at Ribat. So that's, that's, uh, that's about as much as we can handle. Your first tab is going to say course information. I think this is different for our new term. Uh, but in any case, you have tabs up here with your course information. Learn about your teacher. Which textbook do I need? What's the, my, my discount code for my textbook? Review the code of conduct. What am I allowed to do? What am I not allowed to do? This same student orientation will be posted here as well. You can subscribe to your course calendar. 
And that this will give you instructions how to do that. If you use iCalendar or Yahoo or Google Calendar, this will uh, put all of your classes and all your due dates into your calendar. Isn't that cool? I think it's so awesome. We have a coffee shop thread. This is a WhatsApp group for all the Ribat students. Now we have a WhatsApp group for each course where you'll be with your admin and the other students in your class. You'll be able to socialize, ask questions, and share about this specific course. We also have a, a Ribat coffee shop WhatsApp group, which is like the coffee shop, the virtual coffee shop, where you can ask questions about the whole program. We want to make sure that in our WhatsApp groups that we're discussing only what this WhatsApp group is for, so that it's not going uh, in a lot of different directions, okay? So we do ask that you keep the conversations there uh, specific to the group. So the Ribat coffee shop thread, you can ask anything Ribat. If you ask something about Rabata, we'll guide you to the right person. But if you discuss something outside of Ribat and Rabata, then we're going to ask you to remove it because this is a space just to, to focus on this programming. Same for the courses. In the course thread, you should be discussing only your course in that course thread. Now, extension requests. We're going to have someone come on and talk to you about this as well. But yes, we have extensions. You have to request an extension. We used to be so easygoing and so loving. Yes, anytime, Habib. Do you want to submit your assignment three weeks late? No problem. You want to submit your exam two months after the term ended? It's okay. We'll grade it for you. Unfortunately, and alhamdulillah, 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 we now have more than a thousand students uh, last term we had 1,600 students at Ribat, and so we just cannot keep up at this time. Most of our grading team are volunteers, they're volunteering of their time. And so once we've com continued, completed grading a course and issuing the grades, we can't backtrack because with 50 courses, it just becomes uh, impossible to keep going back and forth. So if you do need an extension, you can you can request one, but you need to do that before. And again, somebody's going to come on and tell you all about that. Um, you have a syllabus for your course, which tells you all the information about the course, about the specific course. Please read your syllabus. It is very important to read the syllabus. Raise your hand if you're a syllabus reader. Raise your hand. Let's see how many syllabus readers we have. Right. See, this is why we get all the questions, because there are so few people who are reading. The, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. This syllabus is going to answer so many questions that you have. So I highly recommend that you read your syllabi before you start your class. Did you know that the plural of syllabus is not syllabuses? It's syllabi. I love little details like that. Then you have the learning support where you can request support if you need um uh, if you have a, a special learning situation and you need uh, additional support, you can fill a form there. And then under each session, you will have the recording, any files that the instructor wants to share with you, your assignments, it's all organized by session, and then you'll have your, your term paper and your final and, and everything. So this is our uh, course forum where you find out everything about a course. If you look at your navigation tab, you will also see how to get to your other courses. You can see all the different uh, things in each of our courses. Over here, you have a calendar. If you click on the calendar, it'll it'll show you all of your events and all of your courses. Um, and this is the server time, which is according to CST. So any times that you see in the calendar are going to be listed in CST. Now, if you want a quick access to your courses, you'll find them here. And now. Here concludes our tour of the Ribat building. And now, as I as I promised, for your contact, this is what we're going to call student services, inshallah. And I'm going to introduce one of our uh, one of our beloved team members who is behind the scenes in a lot of the work we do. Maybe you've already spoken to her. Uh, she's transitioning into a brand new role of dean of students. So this is your person. I'm so excited, alhamdulillah, for the growth that we're experiencing here at Rabata and all the amazing changes. So here is Anse Maha Gafar, who uh, is going to tell you all about the uh, the services that we offer here at Ribat to you as students. Anse Maha Gafar is a graduate of the Ribat teacher certification, and she's now working on the Ribat scholar certification. She's also working on a Ribat Tajweed Ijaza. She's a mother of three, and she works here at Rabata as the, the program's director. 
and transitioning into Dean of Students. And she's going to speak to us about uh, the student services that we offer. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited for the new term and I'm so excited for this new role. Inshallah, I'll be able to serve you all in the best of ways. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So we have a few um, student services that we do provide um, just for ease because we're online. We want to make it as interactive as possible. We want to give you the support that you need. So one of the um, people that you will be seeing are your course admins. Your course admins will be in your classroom. They'll be recording the course. They'll be taking um, note of what assignments you have. Um, they'll help you with the technical difficulties if you're unable to get on Zoom, if you're unable to um, submit your, your homeworks. So they'll post recordings, post assignments, send reminders um, as to when the course will be. Um, they'll give you our reminders and all these things. So this is for the course admin. Their email will be on the uh, syllabus and the WhatsApp group for you to join will also be on the forum. So you can get there and you'll know who uh, the course admin will be. They'll introduce themselves. Um, another another set, a team uh, that we have are the advisors. Um, and the advisors, you can contact them through uh, the email advising at rabata.org. I'm so sorry. I will write all these emails after I speak. I can't speak and type at the same time. <laughs> so advising at rabata.org. You, um, you could email them if you have any questions, um, you're wondering which course to take, what level you should start with. If you want to start taking, if you want to start pursuing any certification, you can always contact them to um, ask all these questions, even, even if you have a question about a specific course in the description. Um, and Siman also mentioned accessibility. Please do uh, fill out the form that's on all, all the forms if you do need anything, any uh, help or support in that area. Um, we do have also student support uh, a team. We have a team that would be calling all brand new students. So if you're a brand new student, you will be called. They will help support you, answer your questions, and let you know who you can contact for what. Just this is like an extra support for our brand new students. Um, we also have, uh, Ansi Iman was talking about extensions and all these things. So we have the grading team. Um, and the grading team, of course, they help and support our teachers to help grade. Um, but they also, this is where you go and request extensions. The extension policy is on the syllabus as well as the forum. Um, so for any course that is not Arabic, you can email grading at rabata.org to request extensions. Please do read the policy and you need to like give them, you need to email the grading team 48 hours before your, um, your exam or your paper is, is due. Um, and it's a case by case basis. So for anything that is not Arabic, it's grading at rabata.org. For Arabic, it's ribat.arabic at rabata.org. Please do email them and look at the extension policies for both because they, they are very different. Um, and yeah, we're here to help in any way. Email us and let us know how we can support you. And if also for the grading at rabata.org, if you need to, to um, request any transcripts, you can email them. If you don't know what courses you've taken before, you can email them and they can they can uh, provide that information for you, inshallah. Thank you all so much and I'm looking forward for to the new term. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much, Ansimaha. Lovely to meet you, our amazing programs manager here at Rovata. I, I just wanted uh, to do a real quick fun activity here. Put your hand on the reactions button. And if you are a volunteer or a teacher or if you're an admin or a student supporter, anyone here who volunteers at Rabata, please raise your digital hand. I just want to big, give a big shout out to our amazing teams. We have admins, volunteers, student support, Tajwi teachers, course instructors. And here in a room of 63 people, we already have about 10. So you can see that more than 10% of our student body are also teachers, students, volunteers, teachers, volunteers, and staff members. Alhamdulillah. So, so, so happy. I want to thank you all. We have 200 people working behind the scenes at Ribad to bring this programming to you. Round the clock. 
across the earth, across the globe, there's always somebody awake at Rivat, answering questions, answering emails, uh, fixing glitches on the website, fixing the problem, providing refunds, doing whatever it is that you need to do. So I want to thank all of you, all of you who are working behind the scenes. Jazakumullahu khairan. We can't thank you enough and we can't pay you enough and we can't send you enough gifts. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you from his generosity and that you find this work on the day of judgment and that you find it in the barakah in your uh, in your time with your families and the same for our students. Insha'Allah ya Rabb, that this learning will put a put a thumbprint and uh, show Breezes of fresh air and light into your days and your families and your lives. Now I'm going to introduce our uh, our lead here, the the one who this whole project was her idea, and she gave me an idea and I ran with it and we turned it into a it's big huge thing. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Sheikha Dr. Tamara Gray is here with us from Minnesota. She has. Uh, she has provided light for all of us and guided us as to uh, what we should teach and how we should teach it. Dr. Chama Gray is a founder here at Robota, and she has a doctorate in leadership from the University of St. Thomas. She has a master's degree in curriculum theory and instruction, and she spent 20 years studying traditional and classical Islamic sciences in Damascus, Syria. She has an ijaza in Tajweed of the Holy Quran, and she, after... Uh, 25 years of working in education. She now is the executive director of Robota and our chief spirituality officer. She programs all of our work and she guides us and sets the strategic plan. She is an author and a publisher and welcome as a Tamra. Tell us more. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Thank you, Iman. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. <clears throat> I'm gonna start. There's a question in the chat that really is uh, perfect. Uh, springboard for the start of what I want to say to you today, which is what does Rabota and what does Ribat mean? Uh, Rabota is actually an Arabic term. It's a root word, meaning it's it, from it comes so many other words, but at its core, it means to bring together and to bring us together in a way where we are, we are tied together with a sisterhood of love a sisterhood of ilam, knowledge, a sisterhood of spirituality, a togetherness of caring, a togetherness of mission, a togetherness of focus and clarity, a togetherness of aqidah in similarity of beliefs and togetherness of that heart connection, subhanAllah. And ribat is a derivative of rawata. And it means, or it's a form, another form of that root word, which is of course how the Arabic language works. If you're not sure about that, just take an Arabic class and you'll learn. Uh, ribat has, is a really fascinating word. You're going to find it used historically in Morocco for, wait, get this, for women's shelters, a place where women found uh, protection and a place to rest and a place to go if they needed if they needed to. We also find the word ribat used in Iraq as a place of knowledge, a place of learning, historically. Typ uh, typically the word ribat, and this was <clears throat> what I was thinking about, <clears throat> has meant the front lines of a battle. And make no mistake, we are in a cultural war today. The secularism of the world is winning right now. And people of faith are being asked to step away, to step down, to step to the side. So the secular values and ways of living away from Allah can be prominent. But we are at the ribat. And the Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that a few can win over many if we are sincere. And so we are here at this ribat together. We're a few, not so few, we grow in numbers every year, but we are here <clears throat> sincerely trying to make this world a better place, trying to help every single one of us, us here, 
our families, our children, our siblings, our spouses, our parents, our communities, our neighbors, our non-Muslim colleagues and friends at school, all of these people, we want to be in Jannah together. <coughs> Excuse me. We want to make this world a beautiful place, a culture of goodness, a culture of joy, a culture of faith, a culture of belief in the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Without love and that goodness that emanates from the time, from his life, from his sirah. Uh, shameless plug, I am teaching sirah this term. This is a brand new class I just added to my uh, list. And it's called part two, but that's okay. It doesn't matter if you didn't take part one because it's a, com it's a completely new design. And we're going to be doing the Medinan period. So if you're interested in that Medinan period, just hop on and join my class. Okay, back to my point. So we are together working to shine out that light, to shine out that light into everyone's life around us. So ribat means to stand there at the edge. And that's the place where there is, sometimes there's struggle, but there's so much reward. So we're so happy to be together with you here at this ribat. This place of great cultural change and great growth and inshallah joy and happiness and all of the beauty that you could never imagine coming to you, even in the midst of the trials of life, dunya is dunya. Ribat is a dream to be sure. It is a leveled program. And I know you've already had those tours. My job here is not to do all of that with you, but it is a leveled program. It is, the idea here is to walk ourselves on the path of growth. So enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Get to know the teachers, get to know your colleagues, get to know your the friends in class, your admin, all the different people here and walk on this journey together. It's okay if you have one semester where life happens and you aren't able to finish one class or you're not able to do one homework assignment. This is not about showing off our grades to our neighbors. This is not fifth grade spelling, okay? This is internal growth, external growth, internal, external for ourselves and external for our communities. And we as women, history and research shows us and demonstrates that it is women who make the cultural changes. And that is where the struggle is today. We are called upon to stand up and make these changes and do this work. So Joy, I'm so happy you're here together. We're going to join together in this work this semester. I'm, I'll, I shall tell you the other classes I'm teaching this term. I'm also teaching an Aqida class. Now I will say about that one, it's level two and don't tell anyone, but I'm testing out the new Aqida textbook I'm writing. So if you do join that one, I will be asking for some feedback on that work. Oh, look at you. My regular companions class, I'm teaching that one. That one is the continuation of last semester. It's okay if you didn't take it last semester. Foundations, Founderings, and Faith is the place you come to ask all the questions that you have, or maybe your kids have, or the people in your community have. And then Superwoman one and all. Last semester, I taught a class about Superwoman of history and that people were like, I, I need help. I want to I wanna find my superpowers. And so this semester, we're doing a class about how do we find those superpowers? How do we find them and how do we grow them and how do we make this work for us? And then I told you about lessons from the life in Africa. Okay, put it on because I want to see everybody. <laughs> All right. And of course, those are just my classes. We have a whole lineup of amazing classes being taught by all of our amazing instructors. I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you for being here with us today in this orientation, or if you're watching it via video, thank you for continuing to watch it, to orient yourselves on this new journey or continued journey, depending on if you're a continuing student or a new one. So happy to be with you. And I really look forward to this semester with you. Special one. It's a special one because we're entering in Ramadan quickly. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you so much, Sheikha. Allah khalil na yaki. May Allah preserve you for us and keep you guiding us. Uh, alhamdulillah, that concludes our orientation. If you're all set and all of your questions have been answered, you are free to go. You don't need to stay around. I will be here for another 20, 25 minutes, inshallah, to answer questions of anyone who still has questions. Okay. So those of you who typed your questions in the chat box before, I will ask you to type them in again. And I'm going to 
bring on one of my lovely admins. And Cesara, can I ask you to do that? I don't want to get lost in the chat box. So can you read aloud the questions to me and then I will answer them? Okay, so we're, I'm going to start first with what is Rabata and Ribat because Ansi Tamar gave a beautiful uh, explanation of that. But we also have both of them write-ups on the website itself explaining what they are. So I'm going to type them in the chat box now. The first one is tell, tells about what the word Rabata means and, what, and how it links to the name of the organization. The second link I'm going to type in the chat box now is an article that I wrote that tells about the word ribat and all of that it all the meanings that it encompasses. And right now I'm going to tell you my last name, Rabbat, means the person who connects or brings together or ties. It was not named after me. I did not choose the name. I do not own it. I came along after it was named. And subhanAllah, I thought, hey, that's great. It's my name. It's similar to my name. So I got to stick around. So I stuck around. Subhanallah. Completely, wallahi, completely coincidence. So in case you were wondering about that. Now, Ansisara, go ahead and ask me the next question. Um, the next question that we have here is, how long does it take for enrollment in a course to be verified? Okay, so not all courses need to be verified. If you're in a level one class that has no prerequisites and no requirements, then you will be registered in your course right away. But if you're in a class that has required prerequisites that you can't register in the course until you've finished and passed the previous course, then it takes time for our team to take a look and make sure that you got that you got that prerequisite under your belt. So that's gonna the time is going to vary. We do our best to get back to those things within 48 hours. And keep in mind that 48 hours is the business week because we also do, do have weekends in the world. Um, occasionally, there will be a pending grade, for example, Arabic. There will be a grade that has not been posted yet, so we're not sure if you passed the previous level or not. So you might just need to wait until the grade is out for that course, but don't worry, we're holding your seat. Once you've made the payment, we're holding your seat for you, and you will get registered in the course, or you will receive an email with your options of what to do if you're not approved for it. Thank you for that. Um, for Arabic class, do we still need to do a placement test if we want to start at level one? So yes, we're going to ask you to please do a placement test because mashallah, our students are so humble. They say, oh, I don't know anything. And then it turns out they do know something. So we want to make sure that you start at the level the same as your peers. Even if you don't know any letter in Arabic, go to the placement test, answer the first question. No, I do not know the letters. And then you'll be placed in the correct level. However, I want to mention that you can pay for that class, register for it, even if you haven't done the placement test yet. Okay, so you don't have to wait to do the placement test. Uh, the next question we have is, is there a link for the Arabic orientation, even if I have not enrolled in a course, but I'm interested in doing so? No, I'm so sorry. The Arabic orientation is going to be focused on people who are registered because their class starts tomorrow. And so we need to talk to them about their class. So if you have paid for a course, then inshallah, you will receive an invitation to join the Arabic orientation. The Arabic orientation is on a Saturday. The, uh, the, the asynchronous material starts on Sunday and the synchronous class starts on Monday. So you really, you need to be at the orientation if you're registered in the class. So that's just a point of clarification so that you know and you don't fall behind. Because if you come in, if your class starts on Tuesday and you come to class on Tuesday for Arabic only, you're already behind because there was work posted on Monday that you needed to do. So you need to make sure that you're uh, that you're one step ahead with Arabic. Uh, Anse, if I have chosen monthly payments for the course, when will the second and third installments be taken? The second and third installments are usually taken on the exact same date that you paid the first one. So you paid on the 8th of the month. We're going to get the, the 8th of March, the 8th of April, the 8th of May. If any of those are delayed, uh, we don't know what PayPal does. Sometimes it'll pay it a couple days later, and sometimes it will be delayed till the very next month. Can we take part two, Aqida, if we haven't taken level one? Yes, you can. Um, I, I just registered for Tajweed 201 this week and found out I also need to take an Arabic course. Does that mean I have to register for the Arabic course I place in as soon as possible? 
I would recommend you start with the Arabic first. I want to build a foundation of strong Arabic because I want you to go through Tajweed like a breeze. Tajweed has a lot of different components and a lot of different moving parts. So I want you to be comfortable with the Arabic, with the language, with the letters, so that the other parts of Tajweed, you can focus on those. So I would recommend, if you were recommended to take Arabic, I would say, do the Arabic first if you can. If not, do them together. If you have to make a choice of one or the other, do Arabic, because both of them are intensive courses that meet many that have a lot of work throughout the week daily you're going to need to work daily for arabic and tajweed it's not a once a week activity it's a daily 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 i really want to learn this so i really need to put in an effort into it between one and two hours a day at least i would say so if you, i know that that's a lot and we're all busy we all have a lot on our plates so if you have to make a choice do the arabic first if you can do both you can do both once registered, where will the class link be sent email to join? Uh, so uh, on the first day of class, because we love you, we send an email that tells you, you have class tomorrow, please come register. After that, unfortunately, we know that your inboxes are already drowning with all the emails that you get from the bank and the phone company and your kids' school and your other kids' school. And so we're not going to be sending emails for every class. I'm going to go right back to the, the website and I want to show you what to, how to know that. Okay, so here I am. This is my page as a student. Okay, I click on my courses and I, I go to my class. I know when my class is because I put it in my calendar. It's Mondays at 7 p.m. So I need to know when my class is and put it in my reminders and my calendars. How do I join the class? There's going to be a button here that says classroom link. It's not here now because there's no class going on. But there's going to be a button right here. You're going to click on it and it's going to say classroom link. Uh, that's how you will join your Zoom. We do not share Zoom links on WhatsApp or on social media or anything. You're going to have to come to your course and click on the link to join. Certain classes I can't attend live due to work conflict. Historically, do those students suffer who can't attend live? If you are a, you, they, students do not suffer, inshallah, no students suffer at Rubat, first of all. Second of all, it, you need to set a time of your day that you're going to watch that recording. So you can't do it Monday at 7 p.m. I'm going to say Tuesday at 8 a.m. Every Tuesday, I have it in my schedule that I'm going to watch this class. And I'm going to keep up with the assignments and know what I have to do. Students have succeeded who were able to do this. Do I need an Arabic class for Tajweed? Yes. Which Arabic class depends on which Tajweed class. So you need to look at the course description of each Tajweed class because Tajweed is the science of reciting Quran correctly. And that's very important to be able to recite the words of Allah SWT beautifully and correctly. But what's more important in my opinion is to also understand the words of Allah SWT. We want them to come together, the understanding. It, Learning Arabic will also make it easier for you to learn the Tajweed quickly. We, you struggle. You're going to struggle if you don't have the Arabic. If I ask you to read Shakespeare, but your first language is, is Chinese and you don't know English at all, it's really going to be hard for you to perform Shakespeare. Then when you learn how to read English, and your first language is Chinese, you learn how to read English, you'll be able to read Shakespeare correctly, but you won't be able to to read with it and feel with it as you're reading, as you're performing, until you really understand what the words mean. And so that's my little example of why we need Arabic with uh, Tajweed. I literally just signed up for Arabic that's on Tuesdays and Fridays. So will I be behind since my orientation will be missed? No, you will not be behind because if we go back to the academic calendar, you will see, alhamdulillah, that the Arabic spring module starts on January 29th. So you have not missed the orientation yet. I applied for financial help with textbooks for 201 because the delivery was expensive. However, since then, I have been able to purchase a textbook from a sister in my country. 
How do I cancel the financial request? Alhamdulillah. Email registration at robota.org and cancel that request. Alhamdulillah that you were able to find those uh, books. How can I help my daughter prepare for her flying dragon, uh, dragonflies courses if she has never been to a weekend Islamic school? Tell her it's going to be so fun and you can't wait to hear what she's going to learn and give her a uh, Something yummy to drink. Uh, when do the Arabic courses begin again? January 29th, inshallah. How long does it take for one to complete the teacher certification? Our fastest, swiftest student, let me see if she's here. I, I was saying that it took her four years and then she corrected me. She said, actually, I'm saying, man, I finished it in three years. But that's because she already had the Arabic. So it's going to depend, number one, on how much Arabic and Tajweed you already have. Because if you're starting uh, from level one, it will take you a bit longer. And if you're able to waive any of those levels, then you can do it quicker. It also depends on how many courses you can do each term. Some students have more availability in their, in their time and they're able to take up to five classes per term. Other students might have work, family responsibilities, children, elderly parents, community responsibilities, etc. And so, or health restrictions, time restrictions. And so you might choose to take one or two classes each term. Uh, alhamdulillah, we built Ribat flexibly because we know that everybody has their own things going on in their life. The important thing is that we're continuing to learn. Uh, it took me eight years and it took uh, our fastest student three years. And we have students who took longer and they're still working, alhamdulillah. Does the Dweed Rhythm and Rhyme have three classes a week? Uh, so the Tajweed courses in level two have a theory class where you sit and the teacher speaks and explains the rules of the Tajweed and you learn the theory from her. And with her, you'll have a midterm and a final exam. Those classes also meet twice a week with another teacher to recite and practice what you've learned because Tajweed is a, is a subject that has theory and practice. I can read beautifully but and correctly. But can I explain to you what, all the things that I did? So I'm going to learn how to do it with Anse Abid and what I'm doing with Anse Maryam or Anse Ula or Anse Nawar. And so, yes, three times a week. The, in, the class about theory, you can watch the recording, but the practice sessions need to be live because she's, you're going to read and she's going to correct and she, you're going to read and she's going to correct and your classmate is going to read and she's going to correct and you're going to listen to hear what she's correcting and benefit. Will second and third installments be taken automatically or do I have to do something on my end? Installments are withdrawn automatically. If there are no funds in your account, they will stop, they will pause, and then they'll try again, and then they'll pause, and they'll try again, then they'll be canceled. So if that happens, we'll reach out to you, or you can reach out to us and let us know how to, uh, and we'll help you to make that payment. The IJAZA certification registration starts in August for both the full and the Quran, for both the full Quran and the five Jizza. No. But there are let me correct that. You can register right now for the Tajweed 5 Juzza. There are prerequisites. What is the best way to prepare for registration? Do your So the best way to prepare for registration, if you want to get a Ijaza and Tajweed, number one, do an Arabic placement test to see where you lie in Arabic. And number two, do a Tajweed placement test to see where you fit in our Tajweed program. And once you've done those, you, you're going to see which courses you need to do in order to reach the level of the of the ijaza so that you can apply for the ijaza program which is different than other certifications you have requirements to register in it uh, so you need to make sure that you have those requirements under your belt inshallah you have to pass all of those courses you can't you don't just take the course you have to take it and get a passing grade in it as well is there anywhere in the uk i can buy the books Yes, and on your purchase textbook link, we have a few uh, vendors that either have free international shipping 
or they deliver to the UK. And you can also ask on the Rivat coffee shop thread. Our students are a wealth of knowledge. So you can ask there and see what, what your classmates recommend. Are the Tajweed classes an hour long? The Tajweed Halaqa practice, uh, I'm not going to answer that because it's going to depend on each teacher in each class. So I'll, I'll just very quickly show you, Bismillah, if I go back to the website. And you go to your um, your course list, okay? This will show you the course. And then you can look at each uh, each course. It tells you from what time to what time. So ANSYS Companions is one hour long. We go down to Tajweed. Quran fluency is from nine to 10, one hour. So level one is one hour. Level two is one hour. Level 202 is one hour and 15 minutes. 203 is also. So you want to check with each instructor and what she uh, what she will tell you. Inshallah. What is the recommended number of courses for a student to enroll per term? If you're a brand new student, I recommend that you register in one or two so that you see how is it? What's the amount of work? How does it fit in my life? The term after that, you can decide. You can say, okay, I know I know how much I can handle. I do want to point out that in Arabic, you have approximately 10 hours of work per week. You have two live classes a week plus three asynchronous class work a week. And so that's at least 10 hours of, of work. Tejweed, at least 10 hours. I would I would give it more. I would give it more. Every time you meet with that teacher, you need to be prepared with a minimum of one hour of practice. And Sitamra says you need every time you meet your Tajwi teacher, you need 10 hours of practice on your own. Here she comes. Can Hi. I say what I say? Well, you Listen, said it. Arabic is five hours, not 10 hours a week. OK, the whole reason for the asynchronous is to give people the opportunity to work so they don't have to go away and work. So the Arabic is limited because you said minimum. So minimum is going to be five hours a week. For of Arabic, course, can work more for Arabic, for Arabic minimum, because they're coming to class twice and three times are asynchronous, and so those asynchronous classes are because when you give people homework, they don't do the homework. The asynchronous class is practice on those things. I mean, there's one idea the, each week. The class is two hours long, so that's two plus two is four. Oh, the class, okay, yes. so seven. okay, so four. Okay, so minimum seven. Makes a College. difference when you got little ones in tow and you're working. Okay, okay. that's the minimum. And then, uh, and it depends on how fast you do those asynchronous classes too. So some people do those quicker. Yeah. Uh, for Tajweed, I just want to say that if you guys want to progress, take it from someone who suffered. Like I was there. I was there. I couldn't say the law. I couldn't say the ain. I couldn't say, ugh, I mean, what could I say was a better question. And it, if you want to progress quickly, which I'm always in a hurry, if you're okay progressing slowly, you're going to do less work. But if you really want to progress quickly, decide to dedicate time. Decide to dedicate time to the practice, listening and repeating, listening and repeating, not just time with your teacher. Sorry, just had to jump in there. Thank you, Anse. I really love that, uh, that you jumped in and helped with that question. Um, we have a student asking for a suggestion. She says, as a new student, I signed up for Tajweed 201, Arabic Novice Middle, Foundations, Training Tongue, and Quran Inspiration. Given I am a full-time worker, is that a lot for a new student? Also, I already have a Tajweed teacher overseas in Algeria whom I read with on the weekends. Uh, Maria, mashallah, that's really ambitious. You could do it. I'm not going to say you can't, but I feel it's a lot, especially if it's your new, if you're a new student. So I would choose two of those. So fun. And Sitamra will tell you to stay in all of them. So it yeah, depends on what kind of personality you are. Two. How's she going to choose two? She did, there, she's got them from every aspect, mashallah. <laughs> I'm going to choose two. Look, people are different. People are, the Prophet said people are made of different metals. So people are different. Some people like, a lot to do and that makes them organizing these things done hi that's me the more i have to do the more i'm getting done the less you give me to do the less i'm doing even of the things i'm doing Does that makes sense and then there are other people who you give them too much and they're just like oh i can't do anything now so really people are different you know yourself 
there's no shame in trying and then saying, okay, I'm going to delay this class till next semester. It's all good. Great. I bring the nervous and she brings the excited. That's exactly where you're supposed to be. Well done. We're, we're a team and that's how we work. <laughs> um, do the synchronous Arabic sessions need to be attended live or can we watch the recording? It is highly recommended to attend live because it's very much a conversation. The teacher is helping you, guiding you, answering your questions. We have tried to offer several different timing options, especially at the lower levels. Um, if you cannot attend live, we have had students who had success, but you really get to need to be on your game. So the minute you're able to watch that that recording, watch it and do your assignment and don't fall behind. So people have done it, not that it can't be done um, with, on recordings. But it, of course, it's it's much easier for you as a student and much more beneficial to attend the recording if you can. I would like to apply for a scholarship for orientation Rebat teacher certification. However, it is not listed as an option to select. Uh, yes, we don't usually offer scholarships for that because we want to make sure that this is an orient the Rebat teacher certification is a long journey. It includes, I think, up to almost 40 courses. And so we really we're putting in a huge commitment there and we would like the students to put in a commitment as well. We can offer or scholarships for all your courses. But for that, when you're signing up for that program, we want you to at least put in that that much, that registration fee. Uh, if you really are not able to, but you do want to do the orient, you do want to do the certification, you're up to the you're up to the challenge, you just don't have the money, then you can email registration at robota.org and tell her and say Iman said I can ask for a scholarship for this one. Do you offer summer courses? We do offer summer courses. It's a, it's a, a much smaller uh, uh, offering than we do now. But we do we will be offering Arabic, inshallah, for sure, in the summer. You can check the academic calendar to see the dates of that. We plan to offer a few Islamic sciences courses in the summer, a few exciting new classes in the summer. Um, and those will be announced, inshallah, either during during Ramadan, after Ramadan, or before Ramadan, around around the, the early summertime, okay? So keep an eye out to see what exactly is going to be offered. We used to, from uh, 2020 until now, we've been offering Tajweed during the summer as well. Uh, it's still up in the air whether that's going to be possible this year because the summer is kind of split up between uh, Ramadan and Eid and Dhul Hijjah and Pilgrims at Home and the Ribat Retreat. So we're we're still kind of assessing our ability to offer what what we can offer in the summer. So just if you can just be patient with us until we get this term up and running, and then inshallah we'll we'll be able to to let you know what will be which courses exactly will be offered in the summer. That that won't be announced until I would say May. May yes. What is the Rebat teacher certification? Oh, what a lovely question. Uh, we have time, so I'm going to jump right back on here. If you go to academic program course uh, certifications, Rebat, did she ask for teacher? Ansisara? Rebat teacher certification is a certification, not a degree. It's a certification. It's not that it's less than a degree. It's just different. Um, the aim is that we are preparing teachers to go teach in our masajid, our halaqat, Islamic schools, uh, homeschooling uh, families, so that you are able to teach students who are K to 12, so children and teens. Okay. Uh, so people who graduate with this program have the foundational Islamic knowledge for your own life, your own practice, and also how to teach the children and teens and what to teach them. Uh, so we have these these lists of courses that are provided, that are included. So when you register for this program, you're going to take all these courses and work through them one by one. We have these level one courses, these level two courses, uh, along with the Ribat Retreat. And so this, this list of courses is the Ribat Teacher Certification. It will prepare you to become a teacher of youth, inshallah. Those are all the questions that we had on Seema.
Alhamdulillah, that's perfect timing. It gives me time to make myself a cup of coffee for the next meeting. And Satama, are you still with us? Would you be able to do a dua for us? Sorry, I didn't ask you before. I'm, I'm peeking here to see who, which of our teachers are here. And so Hafsa, would you be able to do a dua for us? Can you can yell at me later. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ansa Hafsa. I really appreciate you. Ansa Hafsa teaches our level one Tajweed class. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I would be there, Mr. Ranjim, this man, Ahmed Rahim. Allah, Mosena, Sina, Mohammed, Wala, and Yusafi Sallam. Oh, Allah. Oh, Allah. Ya Allah. We are here together in our orientation for this semester, Ya Allah holding on to so many of our teachers and our scholars all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all the way back, Ya Allah, seeking you, Ya Allah, O oh Allah. Make this term easy for us, put much barakah into our studies, Ya Allah. Aid us in supporting one another and being there for one another and really connecting as a community. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala grant everyone success in their classes and let it be a way for us to draw closer to our Lord Most High. May the most blessed peace and salutations be upon the beloved of Allah, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala grant us all forgiveness and tawfiq. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Rahim. Maliki Al-Din. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeen. Sirat al-Ladhina namta alayhim. Amin, amin, amin. Thank you so much, Ansa Hafsa. I really appreciate you jumping on without prior notice. Jazakumullahu <laughs> khairan, everyone. Looking forward to seeing you in class. Go ahead and register yourself. Register your friends and family. Make sure that everybody's on board. And inshallah, see you in class. Assalamu alaikum.